I remember everything. It's what I do. I sit, I watch, I listen, I record. I see all these people, but they don't see me. I'm lonely too, like they are. At least I can admit it. Sometimes I think evil is just loneliness with nowhere else to go. I wish I didn't see so much. I hate this gift sometimes. Sometimes the visions are so clear, it's almost like I'm in the same room. They were much too clear that fateful morning. I could see everything. I could feel everything too. Their hearts beating, pounding, my head pounding in a queasy echo, my feet running to the bathroom to heave up all the hate churning in my guts. Why? Why should I care if they screw each other's brains out? I thought you'd never ask. All these things happened once upon a time in the East Village when outlaws still roamed. It all began, well, when did it really begin? When I met Rose? When I read her tarot cards? Or when I saw her and Martin rutting in a soft, soft sheets. Martin and Rose. You see, they were never meant to be together. They were certainly never meant to stay together. Paul chose me to stop those opposites from joining, from fulfilling their destiny. Paul. Yes, Paul. Paul is the proper place to begin the story. Paul is the story. A story that has been told and retold at numberless firesides for countless centuries until it was finally faithfully recorded into the only volume of its kind in existence. In the book. The book is everything. If I could read to you from its pages, everything would become so clear. But Paul would never allow that. We would never allow that. So instead, I will tell you the tale as it was told to me, the story unraveling thread by thread. Yes, <laughs> I've debated it for some time now, but my course seems clear. I will show you the journals. Just do me a favor, please, and don't.